Hey you bunch of fishing legends and welcome to my channel. Subscribe to join my fishing adventures chasing the elusive Mulloway Jew Silver Ghost. Whatever you want to call them, I think they're one of the most rewarding fish to catch. Plenty of tips, tricks and tactics to hopefully help you catch that fish of a lifetime. Hope you enjoy what I have to offer. Cheers. This episode is going to be a catch, clean and cook. Oh, this feels alright. We're on again. Oh, this is crazy. I don't get a moment's break. Oh, good fish. And you just cut down one side, slide the knife backwards and forwards, cut them into nice bite sized pieces. That tastes even better than it looks. Hey you bunch of fishing legends and welcome back to another episode. Got down here a bit late today, but what an what awesome weather. Nothing so far. And anyway, in this um, episode I thought I'd do a catch clean and cook. Um, I'm pretty confident I'll pick up some, at least some gummy sharks tonight. So yeah, this episode is going to be a catch clean and cook. And I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be an awesome sunset. Hopefully with some fish in it. I'll keep you posted. Yeeeew! Bloody ripper! Oh, this feels alright. Oh, yeah. Come on, be a mulloway. Gummy. Absolute gummy heaven. beast of a shark 116 centimeters what a fish she put up a hell of a fight and she actually swam in pretty quick too but, and then the hook came out <laughs> but uh, managed to get her out of the water what a fish 116 you bloody ripper what a beast Got to get her back. Eww. Here you go, girl. Where are you? Oh, there she is. Off you go. Yeah, there she goes. Eww. We're on again. Two baits in a row on the pilly. Oh, not a bad fish either. Oh yeah. Oh, what do we got? Another gummy. Another good gummy. Oh yeah. Uh, 
have a look at that. Gummies are going off again tonight. Yeah, 103 that one. Oh, gotta love catching gummies. They're such good fun to catch. Put up an awesome fight. But yeah, I'll get her back. Got plenty of gummy in the freezer now. So I'll get this one back. 103 centimetres. Yew! Off she goes. Yew! Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Roll again. Swimming in. Oh, what do we got? Another little gummy. Oh, he's another little fella. Oh, he's a baby. Well, the gummies are on the chew again tonight. Oh, I love catching these. Not as much as the mow away, but still good fun to catch and hell of a feed too nothing like crumb gummy shark chips and salad anyway she's pretty small this one I'll get her back she's uh, 82 centimeters that one but yeah I'll get her back nice and healthy Eww. you go girl Was that another gummy, I reckon? Uh, another little gummy. Have a look at that cute little baby. You know what? That, that'd probably be legal. That's that's ridiculous, isn't it? That's uh, they got to be 45 centimeters from the fifth gill slit, the base of the tail, and I reckon that would be. But that's just ridiculous. Why would you want to keep a fish, that, a shark that small? But anyway, that's another gummy. That's four for the night. Another awesome session on the gummies. Pity there's not more mullies around. I don't know where they all are. Maybe all feeding it in the mouth. All the fresh water fish coming out there. Anyway, get her back. Eww. Another little gal release. Off you go. Wrong way. And she's off. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system I don't want to be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I've gone through the climb I invite pain We're on again Trying to cook dinner Just thinking haven't had a bite for a while and then bang. Oh yeah. Oh good fish. What a gummy I'd say. Yeah. Some fish, 103 centimeters. 
got plenty, plenty in the esky. Tag plenty, so we'll just release this one. Damn, what a nice fishing. Just can't believe this, this spot. Had to drive 40 k's to get here, but tell you what, it's worth all those kilometers. Extra bloody 20 30 kilo, uh, 20 30 dollars in fuel to get esky full of gummy. Pretty, there's no more, not, not, a, not many mile, mile away, but uh, you can't have everything. Geez, you're a feisty bugger. Anyway, get him back 103 centimeters. Eww. Yeah, yeah. No other way. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, that's it. Off she goes. Eww. Gotta keep the burly flowing. Keep the fish in the area. When you got fish out there biting consistently, you want to keep them biting. So you keep chucking burly out. Keep them on the chew. Switching, you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief. Uh, they see with the negativity, but I just slide right by that energy. Uh, even when you feel low, you can still go. I always put my pilchard on, head up. Top hook. Through the head. This is as far as I'm concerned. The fish swim through the water like that. So if you've got it on your trace hanging in the surf like that, it's going to swim nat more naturally as far as I'm concerned. I don't know about you, but I think if it's Hanging like that in the surf, it's going to swim more naturally than upside down. But yeah, that's just something to think about. I always, yeah, I don't know whether that makes a big difference, but I've done it for many years now, and it seems to work for me. Let's throw this one out, see how we go. Again. <laughs> oh, little baby gummy. Oh, there we go. Have a look at that one. That one's about 90 centimetres, I didn't even bother measuring it. I think that's about, that's pretty well it for the end of, for this session. That's six gummies in that session. Uh, next time I see you, I'll be um, showing you how to fillet gummy sharks and then doing a cook up. Do the catch, cook and clean. So make sure you hang around to see that. You want to know an easy way to fillet gummy sharks and an awesome way to cook and cook them up. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon at home. You. Again. Oh yeah, what do we got? Good fish. Oh yeah, head shakes. Oh yeah. Oh, come on. Do your mother way. Alright, another gummy. Oh, 
Well, believe it or not, last bait. I got another one. So that's seven gummies for the night. But anyway, I'll get him back. She's only a small one, that one, probably 80, 85. But uh, yeah, I'll see you at home when I'm filling in these gummies. And then I'll do a cook up. See you there, legends. Eww. Hey, legends. I've had a few people ask me if I've got a video on how to fill at gummy sharks. Um, I've got an older video of it, but I thought I'd do it again to uh, do a better version of it. Hopefully help you out um, on how to fill at gummy sharks. So, yeah, I'll show you what I do from start to go. Cheers. Uh, when I'm down the beach, straight after I catch the shark, if the uh, I find the best way to get the best meat from the gummy shark. He cut the cut it off just behind the head, cut all the fins off and gut it. And then uh, there's not there's a bit of a bloodline on the backbone there. Take all that out, take all the guts and everything out. And uh, yeah, as you can see, all the fins are off. You start off, the first side is very easy. Just start in the middle, just one side of the middle of the shark, cutting down one side of the bone. And you just cut down one side of the backbone all the way. Just follow down through next to the backbone. First side's so easy. Just cut down straight through alongside the backbone, as you can see there, all the way through. Cut through the skin. As you can see, it's cut fully in half. That first side's so easy. You can see, and there's no, that's the backbone there. Sometimes you get a bit of cartilage from the bone in the meat, and you have to cut it out, but as you can see, that's clean. Then I just cut, I cut the flap, the belly flap off, because it just makes it easier to skin the shark afterwards. And you can actually take a, if the sharks are a decent size, you can get a nice fillet off of the belly flap as well. But I'll leave that for now, do that after. And once you've cut that off, do is turn it around and start from the tail. Just grab the end of the tail with you. I'll just push down on there with my tip of my finger. Just start it off there, and you grab hold of that nice firm grip, and just slide the knife. Don't push down too hard, otherwise you go through the the skin. Just nice firm, push down towards the skin, but just slide the knife backwards and forwards while you're pulling pulling the skin towards you. And just keep doing that the whole way down. Sliding the knife backwards and forwards. If you don't push too hard, it should just slide through like that. <laughs> Looks like, see? You're actually better off using a knife that's not too sharp. Because otherwise, as you can see there, I've cut through the skin a few times. But you can see there, there's not much meat left on the skin. Turn this over and I'd say there'd be a couple Yeah, see went through the skin there, but that's actually because this this is a brand new knife um, uh, I got it from BCF actually. I'm pretty happy with it. They, um, it's got a nice long blade because I find with the big mulloway and that um, 
often they're not long enough so yeah that, I'm pretty happy with this it's nice and sharp and didn't cost too much I think it was $29 or something but yeah nice sharp blade but yeah it's probably a bit too sharp for skinning but uh, if you get a little bit of skin left on the meat like that you just trim her off like that too easy get plenty of meat off the sharks because of course there's not much bone there's only bone in the middle of the shark yeah that's pretty well clean now so there's a beautiful fill of the shark right there and you just cut her up into fillet size look at that beautiful fresh slabs of flake second side's a bit harder but not too bad what do I do is just cut down one side of the backbone not too deep you don't push too hard just push lightly down one side of the cartilage this part's always a bit tougher so you have to push a bit harder but you put, don't push too hard otherwise you go too deep into the meat so just run your knife along there softly so one side of the backbone and run it down the other side like so try to like, use the tip of your knife and just go under the backbone a bit at the same time like that and all you do start her off go under the backbone and then run your knife back this way and I just put the knife under the backbone like that and run the knife under the backbone back towards the top like so and as you can see not much meat left on that there's a little bit there but you don't lose too much you're better off losing a little bit of meat otherwise you get bits of cartilage through the meat and you have to cut that out but yeah that's the second side so a lot of the time you'll get more skin on the edges that you have to trim off after with the second side but once again just grab the end move the knife backwards and forwards pulling on the skin towards you knife backwards and forwards the opposite way Like so. And you see, there's a little bit of meat there, but I don't mind losing a bit of meat because you, that red meat, <coughs> you're better off getting a bit of that red meat off because when you freeze it, shark freezes really well for a long time, but when you freeze it, the red meat um, goes brown and, and it tastes doesn't taste too good after it's been frozen for a while so I don't mind losing a bit of the red meat but as you can see there the second side is um, the skin's not, it's not as flat so you lose uh, you often cut into the skin on that side but once again that's easy to trim off so yeah that's how I do my gummy sharks Hope that uh, helps you out. Yeah, I thought I'd just show you how to do these belly flaps. They're pretty hard to do, but what meat you can get off of them is a bonus. But once again, just start off like so. Knife back with the forward, run along the skin. Because of the shape of the belly flap they're pretty hard to do and as you can see there it's 
a fair bit of skin left on there, but you just run your knife along there. But yeah, not easy to do, but you can see there's a nice bit of meat that adds up if you do that with all your sharks. There's nothing wrong with that nice slab of meat there. Hey guys, I've had a few people ask me how I cook my fish and gummy shark, so I thought I'd uh, show you how uh, I like to cook my shark and that, so yeah, here goes my uh, catch and cook. I used to just like cut them into fillets like that and crumb them, but uh, the last few months I've been cutting them into nice chunk size pieces like so I suppose you could call it popcorn popcorn gummy shark I do this with my mulloway now too I reckon I used to always for many years I just made uh, cut up into fillets and cooked them like that but now I'm making the nice chunk size like that and uh, crumb them deep fry them and I have uh, three containers, just plain flour in the first one, egg and milk in the second, breadcrumbs in the third. Some people just do egg and milk and breadcrumbs, but I prefer to do um, flour first because I reckon it puts a bit of coating on it and I love the taste of it, so that's the way I do it. I just put a bit of pepper in with the egg and milk and put some pepper and a bit of salt the seasoning into the breadcrumbs that's the way I've done it for years and I reckon it tastes bloody beautiful and I just simply grab a heap of pieces of Shark, coat them in the flour, put them in the egg wash, make sure they're nicely coated in egg and milk, and you put them into the breadcrumbs. Just put a nice coating of breadcrumbs on them. Alright, we finally finished crumbing. I'll tell you what, it takes a while, but I think it's well worthwhile. That's the finished product. And this is the oil we use. I use vegetable oil mostly, but also put some peanut oil in it. Peanut oil is pretty expensive, as you probably know. But, um, yeah, normally put a bit of, bit of each in. Into a saucepan like so. Deep fry them to the nice crispy brown. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people probably make their own homemade chips, but I think it takes a long time. And to tell you the truth, I reckon the frozen chips, the frozen seasoned chips taste better. So these are the ones I use. Pub style extra, extra crispy McCain's. And I reckon they go awesome with the, um, with the fish, fish and chips and salad. So yeah, we'll get frying. Yeah, so I normally just load up the saucepan. Put about a dozen pieces in. Yeah, so I load it up like, like that sort of thing. And there's the finished product. Yummy, golden, crispy chunks of goodness. And I tell you what, it's good stuff, you gotta try it. Even if it's only once, I'll tell you what, you try it once though and you won't cook it another way again. Bloody yummo. Oh, right, here we go, we got the finished product here finally. Have a look at that. Gummy shark, chips and salad. And I tell you what, look at that. 
Oh, yeah, mate. That tastes even better than it looks. Chips and salad. Bit of mayo. Yummo. Try it out. Now, that's the end of this episode, Legend. Hope you liked it. If you want to see more videos like this with a bit of catch and cook, just let me know in the comments. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to support my channel, link in the description for me merch. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, Legends. See you in the next one soon. Eww.